Hello, and in today's video we're going to be looking at Kashgar, Merchants of the Silk Road. This is a very popular German game that had uh, an English translation, and Grail Games have issued a uh, translated copy, so uh, I'm not 100% sure when it came out, so it's got 2013 on the back. However, I've just received it as part of one of Grail Games' uh, Kickstarters, so let's get inside the box and have a look at this interesting sort of deck building game where you're trying to buy and sell spices on the Silk Road. Now on opening up the box we've got a how to play manual, a little card index which uh, a couple of pages, some caravan templates for up to four players with a little bit of nice artwork on the back. Then we have some fancy little meeples for our spices, some baggies, and then the cards. So we should have, I think, the standard caravans, the starter cards, the special effects cards, and some contracts. So let's get those open. And it's a nice sturdy little box, this. And um, I reckon you could probably ditch this insert if you wanted to sleeve the cards and, and they wouldn't fit. Although it looks like sleeve cards might go in. These don't look like normal playing cards to me. I think they're Euro or American board game cards. So anyway, let's get everything open and laid out on the table. So here we go. We've got everything unwrapped, ready to go. So we've got our Patriarch, and you start with three of those. And then you get randomly some starter cards to go with each of your Patriarch. And then you've got your standard and special cards. Now in this version, you also get this little mini expansion. You can tell... The, the expansion they've got this beige coloured background okay so we've got the game set up so we've got a player over here just out of shot and a player here so I've drawn a city card who's worth two victory points however when you activate him he's got this red ability so draw one special card and place it at the back of his caravan now unfortunately while that's pretty awesome this red ability is an ability that when it triggers it uh, discards the card so I'd lose my two victory points now this character here the gypsy Place one of your Patriarchs at the back of his caravan, or discard him to set any one spice to seven. Vi um, so, yeah, interesting. The Scribe, set your mules to one and fulfill a small order for free. Now, the small order uh, currently needs three. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. Um, for free is pretty good. So i got to choose which of these three decks to activate first. Now I want a special card. So I'm going to activate my Patriarch. So draw two cards from the standard deck, choose one and place it at the end of this caravan. So let's move that there. So I draw two cards. So I can either take the Planter or the Hawker. Um, the Hawker is quite good. He's fairly flexible, but the Planter for one uh, pepper, increase all of these. So I'm going to take that. That's just ridiculously good. And I'm then going to pop this in the discard pile. So it goes over to the other player. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to activate this one here because it's got the aristocrat, which says start an additional caravan with a new patriarch. So he's going to actually flip it over to the matriarch side because he might want the hawker. And so that's their turn. So it comes back to me. Well, I'm going to activate my city card. So I'm going to discard, sorry, discard my city guard and get the boatman who goes to the back of my caravan. That's me ready to go. So back to the other person. So they're going to activate their aristocats and get their extra patriarch. Now, I'm not sure when you get an extra patriarch whether you get a starter card or not i don't know um so for the purposes of this demo i'm going to say no that might well be wrong so um let's ignore that now what i could do i suppose i could look at my card index can't i each player starts with three caravans uh, allows them to get an additional caravan use the left hand side of the game um yeah there you go so um doesn't seem to be uh, that we we get um, that. Yeah, I think I did flip that to the matriarch side. So I've now got an extra patriarch. Uh, so I've got four caravans. Okay, so back to me. Um, let's see. Um, 
yeah, let's activate the Patriarch here. So let's flip that to the Matriarch side, ready for my Gypsy. So back over, so activate the Matriarch, flip it to the Patriarch, get the Hawker from uh, the discard pile, pop it to there, okay. So back to me, so I'm gonna use the Gypsy, so I'm discarding the Gypsy to set anything to seven. Now it looks like at the moment uh, we need, hmm, what do we need? We need to get, I th think we are increase the pepper to seven. There you go. So that's that done. So it's back over to um, the other player. So I can fulfill a small or special order. Um, let's see. So I've got three, so I could do any of those. And yeah, so I'm going to do this one here. So minus two on the ginger, minus one on the pepper, minus one on the star anise, minus one donkey. I now have three victory points. There you go, that's that done. And the hawker goes to the back of the queue. And now it's back round to the other player. So let's get this one activated. So let's uh, not flip that to the matriarch. Let's activate the ability to draw two cards. So I've got the imposter and the mule handler. I'm going to take the mule handler because that's really good. And that's back to the other player. So they're going to activate their Patriarch that they've got, who's all by himself, to get two cards. Uh, all other players must allow their gold by two. That's pretty nasty. So let's discard that and take the Market Woman, who is now over on that side. So Matriarch, well, I'm going to be nasty and take the Beggar, because I'm horrible. There you go. Now, I couldn't take the Imposter, because he has a part in ability and the matriarch can't gather people like that so the market woman's going to activate increase basically everything by one so that's pretty good not gold or mules sadly okay so it's now back to me so all other players must lower their gold by two so let's do that and the other player is cursing me for being such a horrible bad person Okay, so I'm now going to activate my Patriarch again with the Market Woman. So I draw two cards. So oh, another Market Woman and a Charlatan. Uh, I think I'll take the Charlatan. So that goes to the back of the queue. So the Market Woman's at the front, the Patriarch and the Charlatan. So that's excellent. So it's back to me. Um, now I want to get lots of gold. So I'm going to activate this again. And I'm going to make it a Matriarch. So back to me, so activate my market woman again, increase everything by one. That's pretty powerful. And I might want to start thinking about fulfilling an order. Oh, I forgot to reveal a new order when I fulfilled the other one. So there you go. And let's see. Hmm. Yep, let's lower gold by two. And because it's zero, my gold goes up to six. And that's why I was doing that. Okay, horrible person. So I'm wanting to use my charlatan, so let's get the patriarch, flip it to the matriarch, so I'm ready to increase my gold by four for the cost of one clove. Right, the matriarch is going to activate, flip into the patriarch and claim in the market woman. So as you can see, the turns back and forth, back and forth, you might be struggling to keep up um, because, you know, things go really, really quickly. So charlatan's going to activate, and that's going to give me four gold. Unfortunately, that means the beggar uh, is back in play. So uh, I'm not going to do the beggar, though. I'm going to spend a pepper to get plus one gold, and then plus two on my ginger, my cloves, and my cinnamon, but not my star anise, which is a little bit of a shame. Now, victory points wise, currently three victory points for the horrible player and four victory points for the uh, other player. So I think we need to fulfill an order. So let's um, use the Patriarch, 
draw two cards and a planter and another hawker. Well, let's have another hawker. Let's make this the fulfilling contract caravan and discard that. So it's back to me. Um, I'm going to spend four cloves to set anything to nine. So at the moment, my star anise is looking low. So let's set that to nine. So I'm getting ready to go off and do some orders. Although, ironically, star anise is not required right now. So it's back to here. So I'm going to fulfill with my hawker a small or special order. Now, um, let's see. Minus five, what's that? Yeah, minus three. Yeah, I don't have three mules. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to spend three gold before my gold gets stolen to fulfill this special order. So I've just got myself another um, victory point there. OK, so let's flip that. And there you go. Off we go. So back to this player and continue and continue until you get to 25 points. There you go. That's a very quick look at the game. And as you can see, these numbers have really ramped up. And, of course, what you're going to want to do is start using your abilities to, to trigger stuff. And you want to cycle through these cards as quickly and efficiently as possible. So this this caravan over here, it's got four cards. So it's going to take quite a while to go through these cards. And, of course, if I keep activating the Patriarch, it keeps adding cards to this deck. So you, you do want to start trying to thin your deck down or, or like use this caravan to trigger something. So this caravan then becomes good, etc., etc. So there you go. Uh, I think it's quite a fun little sort of deck building game. Um, the theme is okay. It, it's another sort of one of these semi-abstract theme-ish uh, deck builders. But, you know, it's a slightly different take on the standard um, deck building engine. And I quite like it. It's quick. It's fun. It's a nice sort of filler. They reckon it can take up to 60 minutes to play. And um, luckily, the downtime between each turn, particularly in two player, isn't so bad. Now, with four players, obviously, it's going to be a little bit slower to come round to your turn. And with the Patriarch card, obviously, you're drawing two cards and you might get a bit of analysis paralysis from some people while they pick which card they actually want. But there you go. That was a quick look at Kashgar Merchants of the Silk Road.